Hi guys! Salamat sa inyong patuloy na ginagawang pagsubaybay dito sa ating discussions about statics of frigid bodies. At ang ating magiging topic for today guys is all about the applications of couples in simplifying solutions of system of forces. At dito sa ating uh, discussions ay magbibigay tayo ng isang sample problem at ipapakita natin kung paano gamitin yung principle of couples in simplifying the solutions of system of forces. At ganito guys ang ating uh, ex, uh, problem. Ano? Sabi sa problem natin, okay, we are given three forces that are acting as shown in the figure. So here is the figure. Determine the magnitude of uh, the resultant and the points at which the resultant will cross the x and y axis. Sa ating problem guys ay makikita natin na meron tayo dito ng uh, okay, forces that are acting okay, in the leftward direction as indicated by uh, these uh, forces. Ano? So we have F1 having magnitude of 450 Newton. Then another force F sub 2 that is directed up to the right and directed from this point to that point having a magnitude of uh, 360.5 Newton. And another force uh, directed in uh, a, the downward direction acting two units from this uh, uh, origin having a magnitude of 770 Newton. So in this problem, we would, we would like to solve for the resultant of uh, these three forces and where uh, the resultant shall be crossing the X and the Y axis. Basically, this uh, problem is easily solved. No? Okay, however, there are uh, okay, approaches where the solutions can be simplified further. And in this particular situation, we are going to uh, show how the principle of couples can be used in solving the resultant of the system of forces and in finding for the, for the points where the resultant will cross the X and the Y axis. Let us try to resolve that these forces into a components and because we are given the directions of the forces, then we use the ratio and proportion concept. So that for F sub 1, for this force F sub 1, knowing that a, the force is directed a, having a slope of 3 vertical and 4 horizontal, therefore the inclined distance will have a magnitude equal to 5. And therefore we can uh, express the component of F1 a, into horizontal and vertical components by ratio and proportion such that a, the x component of F1 is to the x component of the di direction is proportional to the y component of F sub 1 is to the y component of the direction equal to 3 and this is equal also to the ratio of the magnitude of F a, to the inclined distance equal to 5. Hence, uh, if this uh, 450 and uh, 5 will be simplified, this would be equal to 90. So that in here, we shall be able to solve for the x component of uh, a, the force first force equal to 360 while the y component, okay, yung y component tong F nito, will be equal to a 270. That comes from a 90 multiplied by 3. That gives us a value of 270. So after we have a resolved the force into components, we can replace this 450 Newton force. Okay, by the by its uh, components, a okay, at any particular a position along the line of action. Uh, but I would suggest na kung mamimili tayo kung saan ito re-resolve, we select at the point where we can easily okay, locate the perpendicular distance of the components from any reference point. If we shall be using this as our reference point, then it would be good to consider that this F will be resolved either at this point or dito sa point na ito. So assuming that we will be resolving this force into components at this point, therefore try to re replace this uh, force by its component so that you shall have here okay, the component 
okay, which is equal to 270 in the upward direction and 360 in the direction. So, ganun din nakagawin natin dito sa F sub 2 because F sub 2 is inclined at okay, uh, an inclination equal to okay, 2 horizontal and 3 vertical. Therefore, this inclined distance of the slope would be equal to the square root of 13. Then, if you are going to use the ratio proportion so that the x component of F sub 2 is to 2 is proportional to the y component of f sub 2 is to the y component of the inclination is proportional also to the magnitude of uh, the f sub 2 to the inclined distance that is equal to the square root of 13. Knowing that this uh, square root of 13 is uh, approximately uh, equal to 3.605, diba? so this uh, 360.5 and 3.605 will uh, cancel each other and this gives us a value equal to 100. Kaya kapag uh, kinumpit natin yung uh, x component of f sub 2, then that becomes 2 times 100, that will give us a value equal to 200. Similarly, ganun din ang mangyayari kapag uh, kinuha natin yung y component of uh, f sub 2, that becomes equal to 3 multiplied by 100 and this gives us equal to 300. And if we're going to resolve also this F sub 2 into component, then we try to select at a point where okay, we can conveniently locate the position. And I would suggest that we can uh, resolve it at this point or at that point. Assuming that we'll be resolving the force F sub 2 at this point, then let us try to have it resolved so that uh, in that particular okay, uh, we shall be able to have the magnitude equal to 300 here and 200 there. So, ito ngayon nakikita natin dito are okay, the components of the forces okay, into horizontal and vertical or in the direction of the x and the y axis. Di ba? Ngayon, pagkatapos nating ma-resolve yan, okay, we will now apply here the principle of the couples knowing that couple is a pair of forces whose magnitudes are the same and uh, oppositely directed. Therefore, we try to imagine ano, that we have here 300 and 270 and we have here 770. Kung sakari na itong 770 ay divide natin into parts so that okay, hatiin natin siya into, into 3. Na meron tayo ditong, uh, okay, 300 halimbawa itong isang ito. This one is 270 and uh, 200. So sumakatwid yung kabuhan niya. Itong force is, uh, is the same as 770. Kaya lamang when doing so, mapapasin natin that we have here a pair of uh, equal okay, forces whose uh, okay, directions are parallel at makikita niya sa pamagit makita natin niya sa pamagitan nitong uh, okay uh, okay nagbi-blink na yan ano so this actually consists of couple whose uh, effect would be in the counterclockwise direction if these two will be replaced therefore what would be the magnitude of the couple 600 uh, Newton meter in the counterclockwise direction. Similarly, we can find here another pair of forces whose magnitudes are equal and they are oppositely directed so that uh, the 270 pound force uh, okay, can also be replaced uh, by a couple such that the magnitude of the couple will be equal to 270 multiplied by the perpendicular distance between them and that is equal to 3. Therefore, the product of which will be equal to 810 okay, and directed in the counterclockwise direction. Let us imagine that this uh, pair of uh, forces, the blinking forces, ano, be replaced by a couple okay, having a magnitude of uh, 810. Now, let us try to find out okay, this 360 pound force. There is another uh, force that is directed to the right of 200. If this 360 pound force will be subdivided, into 2 so that we have here 160 and 200 you will find that the two forces will also constitute a couple and the magnitude will be equal to okay 200 multiplied by 1 and directed in the clockwise direction so if we have used here a okay, positive for the counterclockwise direction so makatwin itong uh, epekto nito will be opposite in sign of the c1 and the c2 so that we can replace that with okay, a value of 200 and 
the direction will be clockwise. At ang mga tira na lamang na forces will be a one directed to the left and then the one directed to the right. Kaya kapag uh, kinuha natin yung uh, a, uh, the sultan after reducing the pair of parallel forces into couple, the resultant of uh, the resultant force are then reduced to okay, the summation of forces along x and that is only equal to okay, 160 if we will be assigning a okay, directed to the right as positive therefore this uh, resultant force in the x direction will be given a sign of negative similarly yung ating r sub y will be the summation of the forces along y and if we will be assigning a okay, force that is directed upward will be positive then this will be equal to negative so that the resultant will be equal to the square root of r sub x squared plus r sub y squared that gives us a value equal to a the square root of negative 160 plus a negative 200 square and the resultant will be equal to 256.125 so after we have solved for uh, a the total Resultant, we can now solve for the total moment effect of the system forces about O. And uh, the purpose of this, uh, of defining this, is for us to be able to answer the second question: okay, where will the resultant will cross the x and y axis? Okay, so doing that, okay, makukuha natin yung kanyang moment sum to be equal to okay, the summation of the individual forces about O, and that is equal to the sum of the couples produced because uh, the effect of the couple will be the same at any point on which uh, these couples are acting so the effect of these couples are the same anywhere so if we were to, to consider the effect of this about O therefore the effect will be the same as uh, a indicated in the illustration Kaya yung ating moment resultant will be equal to the sum of the couples plus the moment effect of the two remaining forces, the 160 and the 200. So we have here, we will be assigning that uh, counterclockwise as positive. Therefore, our okay, summation of the moment of the resultant will be equal to okay, the 600, which is equal to this one. Okay, this will also be counterclockwise, hence positive, 810. This will be clockwise and hence it will be assigned negative so i have a negative 200 and the effect of the 200 will be a 200 multiplied by 2 so you have a negative 200 multiplied by 2 and then finally you have 160 multiplied by 1 in the counterclockwise direction hence that would be positive and if this will be summed up the moment effect of the resultant will be equal to 970 newton meter it is positive hence it is producing okay, a moment in the counter clockwise direction so after we have computed for the moment of the resultant about o which is uh, 970 newton meter and that is positive ang ibig sabihin nito <clears throat> yung epekto niya is to produce a counter clockwise moment about the origin so makatwid where are we going to see our resultant so if the resultant is pointed okay to the left down to the left and it will be producing a moment of uh, 970 in the counterclockwise direction so mga tweed, okay, we would expect that the resultant will be located somewhere here it will be pointed down to the left and acting okay, to produce counterclockwise moment kaya kung uh, susundan natin ito ganyan yung kanya magiging okay, direction di ba? ganyan yung kanya magiging direction kaya we're going to assign this uh, position as uh, the y intercept whereas this distance will be the x intercept then we can compute for data a y and x intercept by summing up moment equal to to the moment effect of the uh, sultan when it is uh, resolved at this point so if this will be our uh, r sub x then uh, the moment will be equal to r sub x multiplied by a bar sub y the r sub y will have no moment about o so it will be equal to r sub x multiplied by y sub i similarly if uh, the, res the resultant will be resolved at this point diba? then the moment will be will also be equal to the y component multiplied by x sub i that is equal to r sub y multiplied by x sub i and if this r sub y and r sub x will be substituted with this value hence we shall be getting the value equal to 960 970 equal to 160 multiplied by okay y sub i 
equal to 200 multiplied by x sub i. Maaaring tanong nyo, bakit hindi ko siya naman yung sign dito? Kasi pinapakita ko na lang, because the sign, there is already indicated as the direction. So since we already have indicated the direction, so kinakailangan natin makita dito kung ano yung magiging epekto nila. No? So we will, be, we will be expecting therefore that a y sub i a will be equal to 6.0625 and it will be located above above our origin o. Samantala yung ating x sub i okay, when, com when computed will be equal to 4.85 that is to the left of uh, o. So you will be expecting that this will be acting to the left of o. Diba? Kaya with the sample problem that I have presented to you sana ay nasundan nyo guys yung applications ng uh, Propol in uh, simplifying the solutions. Ano? At para lalo, lagi nating masundan itong ating ginagawang discussions ay subscribe natin itong channel to para naman every time na meron tayong uploaded the uh, lecture ay you will be notified. Okay, once again guys, thank you very much for watching.